Fish, a favourite source of healthy nutrition that keeps growing in demand. It's a declining natural resource. More stocks are being fished at biologically unsustainable levels than ever before. And it's important for the economy and the people that depend on it. The annual sale value of fisheries production amounts to $130 billion globally. How can we manage our fisheries to be profitable, healthy and sustainable? Fisheries are complex. Limited knowledge of fish biology and uncertain stock assessments can lead to management negotiations that are often long, politicised and contentious. While governments and fisheries management bodies have committed to following scientific advice and a precautionary approach, and many eco-labels, including the Marine Stewardship Council, MSC, now require this, unfortunately, short-term economics still often wins. But an alternative approach to these difficult negotiations is emerging. Enter Harvest Strategies, an advanced framework for making fisheries management decisions, such as setting quotas. So, how does it work? To better understand it, let's use a simple analogy. Meet the Fisher family. They are moving into their new house this summer. There is no air conditioning, just some old ceiling fans. Will they cool the house efficiently? How durable are these fans? The Fishers decide to invest in a new air conditioning system. Their objective, a comfortable temperature all day long. They have to make compromises. Keeping the coolest temperature would result in expensive bills and uncomfortably dry air. So, they declare additional objectives. Keeping humidity in check. Short term, staying within their monthly budget. Long term, saving enough money for a vacation. Now, how will they achieve this ideal setup? Linda sees that, based on factory tests for similar house sizes, the manufacturers propose different setups and cooling strategies called thermostat control rules. Considering the experts' advice, the fishers decide to go with a control rule that sets a few reference points. Targets. They'd like to keep the house at around 25 degrees Celsius, with a 40 to 50% humidity level, and the electricity bill should be around $100. There are limit points too. The system itself shuts off if it's getting too cold, for example, below 23 degrees. If humidity goes below 30%, all the bill exceeds $130, they'll move the thermostat up a notch. They need to prepare for these uncertainties. And what if keeping the AC running for hours ends up breaking it? They must agree on an acceptable level of risk. Different family members have different temperature preferences, so they need to find a compromise that is agreeable for everyone and balances other trade-offs, like keeping the electricity bill in check. Once the control rule is decided, voila! The perfect summer with predictable temperatures and builds. From now on, they will monitor the system. If the plan is not working, they can re-evaluate their strategy. Just like the fishers, fishery managers set objectives, such as maintaining fish populations at a level that can produce the maximum sustainable yield. And like the AC manufacturers perform testing, scientists use a procedure called Management Strategy Evaluation, or MSE, building models to simulate a fisheries conditions and the likely performance of different management approaches. These approaches, known as harvest strategies or management procedures, are sets of pre-agreed guidelines for how many fish can be caught based on stock status. MSE also allows for balancing of trade-offs. Short-term catch may be sacrificed to improve long-term stock abundance and long-term yields. Likewise, the fishers ended up making the house slightly warmer than ideal to avoid exceeding their budget. Around the world, fisheries managers are moving towards harvest strategies. The reward, long-term sustainability, stability and profitability that benefits fish, fishermen and consumers. <laughs>